Hello, I'm Tim Binning, wheelchair track coach at Arizona Disabled Sports, and I'm here on behalf of the Challenge Athletes Foundation with my good friend, two-time Paralympic sprinter, Eric Hightower. We're going to show you today how to transfer from your everyday chair into your racing chair. And then once you're in the racing chair, what would be the optimum seating position to have so that you have the most efficient stroke possible while you're racing in your chair. All right, so the first position that we want Eric to show you is sitting with your feet down. In this chair, this is not really made for this, but we're going to demonstrate it. We would normally have a foot plate if this is the way the rider wanted to compete. So Eric is a professional, so he makes this stuff look pretty easy. I would caution coaches when people are learning how to transfer into the racing wheelchair, hold the front of the chair down. That's also why we saw Eric put his helmet on. Just in case there's a tipping backwards, his head will be protected. Okay, thank you. Now we're going to see how Eric gets into his chair normally. Eric's chair is what we call a U-cage, which kneelers use. You'll see here on the chair that there's a kneeling pad and a seat. Eric's feet will go right underneath the seat, so he's not sitting on his legs entirely. This position is great for athletes who can flex their knees completely. <laughs> If athletes do not have the ability to flex their knees, this is not an ideal position for them. It will cause them discomfort. So you can see as Eric did that, he put his hand on the rim of the chair and a hand on his own chair, lifted himself up and over, and then gradually transitioned down into the chair. You can see it looks like he's sitting on his legs but in fact, he is sitting on this solid aluminum seat in the back. Some chairs come with fabric seats with Velcro on them. That makes that seat adjustable up and down. You have a little bit of give there and so that we can get the right height for the seating position. Okay, so an ideal seating position for Eric, if you'll just let your arms hang, you'll notice that his, his arms hang straight down it's right between the front of the tire and the push rim. That makes sure he's in the right position to get to hit on the top of the rim and to be able to reach around as he's pushing. You'll notice that his arms are quite long. And so when he reaches the bottom of the push rim, which is the optimal position to be in, he'll have a little bend in his elbow. So that's exactly right for where he is, where he should be sitting. Something that should be mentioned for new racers, you'll notice that Eric has tights on and a tight shirt. So because this chair is made specifically for Eric, it is very snug on both sides of the hips. There's no play. The tighter you can get the athlete in the cage, the more efficient they are for their pushing. If the chair is slightly too big for the athlete, you can put pads on either side or behind. The pads I like to use the most, this is just a normal workout pad, cellulose. You can cut little pieces of them and put them in around the hips or around the knees where the bars come in tight, just to make sure that they're tight in their chair and no soreness develops. You can also use yoga mats for the areas that don't need as much padding but still need protection and that keeps the, the athlete safe and the athlete comfortable. When the athlete is first getting used to a chair, it's important that because they don't have sensation oftentimes, especially further down, that you take a good look at their legs, that they take a good look at their legs just to make sure there's no redness or bruising or any abrasions so that they fit in their chair without harming themselves because a lot of times they can't tell. All right, that's it for our video on seating position and transferring into your racing chair. Thanks for watching.